Hello, Virginia Highland Church family near and far. This is Matt Laney speaking to you from the church office with some important updates as we adjust our ministries, but not our mission during the COVID-19 pandemic. First, our prayers are with those who are most vulnerable to the virus and with those who were most vulnerable before the virus. Those who do not have the option to work at home, those with children to care for, those with few resources, including our brothers and sisters who live outside. Although there is so much anxiety and concern and fear right now, I also have hope that this pandemic might get us to slow down. It might cut through some of the madness of our age. It might get us into more of a Sabbath mode to get to know each other in new ways. Just do a huge reboot as we give up so many things in our lives just so that others might live. That's what Lent is all about, after all, and one day we will emerge from our tombs into the light of a new day and a new world that will be different from the previous world. At this time, we need to be the church more than ever. The CDC recommends avoiding gatherings of 50 or more people for at least the next eight weeks. So VHC will gather online during that time in several important ways that I urge all of us to participate in. First, Sunday worship will happen live at 11 a.m. through our Facebook page and can be replayed from there and from our podcast page whenever. Second, we will gather in real time for short high noon daily devotions on Facebook Live Monday through Friday at 12 noon. Third, our small groups will keep going. They will meet on Zoom. Please join us for any and all small groups, even if you missed previous sessions. Fourth, our deacons are organizing to offer personal and pastoral care so that all members of our community are attended to with love and support. Fifth, reach out reach out to each other, reach out to me or to Leah. We are anxious and ready to be with you and support you. Please also pay attention to our Friday email blast for updates and other ways to connect and serve. There is more information and links to everything I've just said in this email. So even as we distance ourselves physically, I hope this is an opportunity to draw closer personally and spiritually if we all lean in and use this time to draw closer to God, to one another, to breathe and practice a Lenten fast from fear. The more we let go of fear, the more we see God anywhere, the more we will see God everywhere. Much love to you, dear friends. Be well.